My name is Yumer Kubo. I'm leading the hybrid quantum device team here at OIST. We are developing hardware devices in quantum science and technologies. The quantum computers and related technologies are expected to outperform some hard tasks that are impossible for the present technologies, such as to find new drugs or new functional materials and to enable secure communications. So sometimes such quantum devices need to operate at a very, very low temperatures, close to the absolute zero, and there the signals are at microwave frequency range. Here the problem is such quantum signals are very weak, so to accurately measure them, you need a very, very good amplifiers. We are trying to develop such a demanding amplifiers using gemstones. Our solution is to use a physical process called the maser, which is a microwave version of laser. The gemstones are known to be advantageous for maser, and recently we rediscovered that maser process is also very advantageous for quantum technologies, especially they are robust against large incoming signals and also under magnetic field operation. So in our team, we also collaborate with our researchers at the National Institute of uh, Information and Communication Technologies. And we also have a collaboration with a company that have expertise on microwave circuit design and fabrications. We have already accomplished a proof of concept demonstration for our MESA amplifier device using gemstones. Currently, we are developing a prototype device. And so the next step would be to achieve market-ready products and that requires to solve several technical challenges such as integration of high-frequency circuitry and connectors as well as to optimize the device size and packaging. So the POC program has been indispensable for us, gave us the necessary support, of course funding and also feedbacks and overall the POC program connected us to a very good mentor. I'm dreaming of those maze amplifier products being integrated into commercial quantum instruments, maybe in quantum computers, but also in other devices. For example, ultra-sensitive magnetic resonance spectrometers that are useful for chemical, uh, also medical analysis and materials. So also, those amazing amplifiers could be useful for fundamental researches such as particle physics.